Tonight, a video out of San Antonio is going viral with millions of views. It shows three children, including an infant, getting rescued from a hot car. Yeah, the video is painful to watch and listen to as one child appears to struggle just to breathe. Police tell Ken's Five's Mike Jimenez the children were in the vehicle for nearly an hour before a good Samaritan stepped in. The woman who saved the children didn't want to be identified, but says she wants to raise awareness about the dangers of leaving children in a hot car. <laughs> okay, is it getting you some water? A child water? struggles to breathe after being left in a hot car while police say his mother was shopping inside a store. This happened Friday afternoon at a shopping center on 281 in Thousand Oaks as temperatures reached nearly 100 degrees. Leaving children or other individuals who are at risk in a car in this climate and this high of temperature uh, is always the wrong decision. Dr. Fred Campbell, associate professor of medicine with UT Health San Antonio, says there's no way to predict how quickly someone will suffer from a heat-related illness, heat stroke, or death. Brain damage from the effect of extreme temperature elevations would be expected, which affects respiratory drive, as well as a, an adverse effect on many vital organs, such as the kidneys, the lungs, the heart. The woman who rescued the children says she parked next to the car and noticed a boy in the front seat. The door was not locked, so she opened it. Inside the vehicle with the four-year-old boy were two other children, including a two-year-old and a one-month-old oh infant in the back seat. There's a baby back here. Police say their mother, 33-year-old Angela Garza Amador, left the children in the hot car for nearly an hour. She did eventually come out of the store and told police she didn't notice how long she was in the store. Dr. Campbell says if you ever see anyone or even pets in that situation, call 911. So immersion and cold or ice water is considered to be essential and that would be best executed by emergency, emergency medical personnel. Garza Amador was arrested and is facing three charges of abandoned and child endangerment. She was released after posting bond. Police tell us the children were taken to the hospital to be checked out. One was suffering from heat related issues, but all are expected to be okay and are now in the custody of Child Protective Services. Mike Menes, Kins. Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside your head with another one. So, the South and the West Coast are hit with a crazy heat wave right now. Temperatures are in the hundreds all across the South, Texas, California, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, all that. So we have San Antonio, some news from San Antonio. A mother should not have no kids if she's going to do shit like this, okay? First of all, first of all, everybody shouldn't have kids. Now, she leaves three kids in a car, one is two, one is one month, and the boy, I'm not sure, but he's he's a young boy. He's like four or, or five. So, she leaves these kids in the car for over an hour with the windows up in this blazing heat. Some lady pulls up right next to the car with the children, parks, and looks over it and sees these kids inside this hot car. So, she goes to... Open the door. The door is unlocked. Thank God she didn't have to break the window. But the little boy can barely breathe. It's like the heat was getting to him real bad. And these kids are fully clothed. And it's just like, who does shit like that? Okay, first of all, you don't leave your kids in the car, period. But you have a newborn. You have a one-month-year-old baby and you're leaving it in the car for an hour? You don't think, not just the heat, but somebody can come. You left your door unlocked. Somebody could have took, took the baby, and there's nothing them two little kids could have did anything about somebody coming there and taking that baby and kidnapping them. With all the perverts and stuff that we got going on around every city and town, you don't think that is a possibility in these shopping centers where all these motherfuckers are panhandling and just looking for shit like this. 
Second of all, why didn't you take your kids into the store with you instead of leaving them in a hot ass car? Let me say this before I say anything else. That lady saved those kids' life. If she didn't open that door, when she opened that door and that little boy would have stayed in there a little bit more longer, all them kids would have died. She would be going to jail for murder. So that that lady who saved those kids' life also saved that mother from doing a whole bunch of jail time. Because you don't leave your children in the car unattended. Now, if you got teenagers and they don't feel like coming in the store with mom to come shopping, the teenagers know they can roll down the windows, get out the car, but these is babies. These is little, little kids. And I swear, this is the worst parenting, and why do we keep seeing this every summer? How many kids die from being left in cars every summer in different cities? And this is like, this is the, the one thing you should automatically know as a mother. You don't leave your children unattended, period. If it's raining, snowing, or in the heat. Anybody can break in that car and kidnap your kids. And then what? It'd be your own fault because you left your kids unattended for some sicko to come and try to kidnap your children and then have them doing what God knows what horrible things will happen to those kids. And they might not be alive by the next time somebody finds those kids. Because there's sick predators out here to do sick shit to children. That's why you don't leave your kids unattended at all. And you're going to go in there for an hour and just leave them in the blazing heat. When there's a heat wave going all across the southwest. This mother should not get them kids back. I'm sorry. you. If that lady didn't pull up and park next to your car, then... All three of them kids would be dead. That boy was was struggling to breathe. Couple more minutes, he would have passed out and probably died. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, who knows what the heat can do to a young child of that age. The boy pisses me off because these children didn't ask to be brought in this world. You up here having baby after baby after baby. You got three kids within a five-year span, and you leaving them in the car for an hour in the goddamn heat. You need your ass whooped. I ain't going to lie. You need your ass whooped because you, you don't need no kid. Everybody that's, that's able to birth a child is not responsible to have one, and I always preach that. And the people who can't have no children who have to adopt, I feel sorry. Because most of those are the ones that be the good, good mother because they always wanted a child so bad and they couldn't have one naturally. And when they do get one, they become the best moms because they want to be a mom so bad. And it's people like her who take it for granted. Oh, I can give birth, give birth, give birth. But then you leave your children in a in a hot car, it's getting hot like an oven inside the car, going to be at least 20, 30 degrees more than what it is outside the car. You got a one-month-year-old in a car seat, you got a two-year-old, and you got a little boy gasping for air. I'm telling you, if this lady didn't pull up and look over and notice that and open that door to get a little bit of air, that boy was... That boy, that he was choking. He was gasping for air and probably about to go out. Probably about to pass out because he couldn't breathe no more. And this is a sad, sad fucking story that is repeated every summer. You hear multiple kids left in cars, multiple kids dying over heat exposure because you can't... It's like you're left in an oven to cook. It's a sad man, and for all the new mothers, the young women who are having kids at a very young age, if you see this, or if you see that, 
on news. Please don't leave your children in cars. Listen, if you don't want to bring your kids inside the store, don't bring them, period. Have somebody watch them while you go run your errands. Instead of you leaving your children in the car to either die of the heat or somebody breaking in and taking your children or taking your one kid, however many kids you leave. But please, women. When you go in the Walmart to Walgreens, take your kids inside. I know these kids be a handful, but they your handful. You you laid up to have them, you raise them. Just don't leave kids in a hot ass car and say, you know what, I'm going shopping. Oh, I didn't know how long I was in there. Come out to three dead kids. Get that F out of here, man. You got to be kidding me. But that's the shit going on, so people, please, please, man, please, take your children inside wherever you go. Don't leave your children inside the car because you might come out to a kid that's no longer breathing and no longer alive. So please, not for me, for the children's sake, please. And with that being said, hit that like, hit that subscribe, it won't cost you a dime, like I tell you every time around this time. Use your brain, people. Don't leave your kids in the car when it's 100 degrees. Matter of fact, don't leave them in the car when it's 40 degrees. Take your kids inside. You had them. You take them in there. You got to raise them. These kids didn't ask to be here. You brought them into this world. So you got to take care of them. Bottom line. With that being said, man, this Christ 17 TV. Sad, but it's not a... It's a happy ending because those kids are all alive. Thank goodness to that lady. Thank goodness, man. Catch you on the flip side, player.